Right, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Passion, 1982. This is going to be another Godard flick. I'm giving it one out of five stars. I hate this movie again. How many Godard movies am I going to rate? One out of five stars before I finally get to say though. Anyways, probably only a handful left thank god and uh, what else can i say about this godard movie from the latter part of his career other than he should have retired like Ingmar bergman around this time for making feature films okay <clears throat> so uh, there are a lot of uh, naked french women in this one adrian you might like it for that reason like every 15 minutes, there's a naked white woman. And uh, the one in the beginning has very hairy armpits. Uh, if they they just left her in the movie the whole time, I, I would have been... I would have said this, this movie is halfway decent. But it's just about a Polish director who seemingly behaves a lot like... Um, Jean-Luc Godard, he calls everybody comrade. And uh, a lot of the scenes in his movie Passion are, uh, are just people sitting, standing around motionless, not saying anything, no dialogue. And uh, a lot of scenes like that, I guess from, uh, I guess he took it from famous art scenes and he tried to make a movie out of it. I don't know. And then he's got this uh, leftist thing where he tries to disparage. the uh, the most evil institution on the planet according to the left which is uh, the factory factory jobs are the most um, demeaning example of uh, exploiting the working class according to these people and uh, and so there's that there's a lot of a uh, cartoonish kind of grabbing each other and uh, uh, running around and stuff, kind of slapstick stuff that's not very funny. And then, uh, of course, the director is a womanizer. He, like, he's got like two girlfriends and he's working on a third one. And uh, he hires some mute deaf girl to do a nude scene in his movie. Uh, I don't know. It was just uh, pretty typical inane and uh, banal type of uh, dialogue. Again, um, there, I, I really can't describe it any other way other than skip it, don't watch it. It's a waste of time, but uh, Adrian, it does have a lot of nudity, so uh, I don't know if you want to check it out, but I've got another, uh, this disc has another Godard flick called uh, First Name Carmen. And, uh, so I'm going to watch that next, probably not tonight, but uh, maybe I'll get around to watching it, finishing it on
Tuesday, if I remember to bring my Netflix, I forgot to turn my alarm off last night. So I woke up 5.37 in the morning and uh, I'm thinking I'm supposed to rework at 5.30. So I get there at six somehow through some miracle of God and uh, tell my boss I was running late. I forgot to set my alarm. She was cool with it, but then I only got an hour and a half of overtime instead of two hours. So that was kind of a moment. Then I had a date at Starbucks who flaked on me tonight. So I got to sleep a, uh, an hour and a half before my uh, graveyard shift tonight. So I'm going to try to uh, catch up on some sleep later. I don't think I'll be watching too many, too much Godard tonight. But um, yeah, I got paid today so I can pay a couple bills. And I uh, thought I was going to be able to save money, but I couldn't. parfaitement impossible de connaître les lois. C'est vrai que quelque chose nous pousse contre ce que nous sommes. Il faut marcher, ma... Qui est-ce donc qui s'amuse à tourner en dérision l'humanité Le diable, probablement.
you all have a little bit left over uh, to save one, once I pay my uh, car loan and, uh, and my rent uh, a week early, although I'm still hanging on to my rent check and it's like a few weeks after it was due, so I don't know what the uh, landlord is doing coming to ask me about my check, but um, she never left me a place to leave my check, and uh, I don't know. I don't have time to go banging on her door looking for her, so um, that's about it. Not much else going on. I found some Malaysian-looking gal on uh, Happen, and she's she lives by the Hate ashbury but... Uh, She's kind of slow to respond. I don't know if she's going to meet me and my son in Millbury on Sunday, but uh, that's about it. Not much else going on. I better pay some bills now before I go to work. So that's the end of my review. Laters.